This is CBS Atlanta News at 6. We ask the tough questions. Tonight at 6, hundreds of demonstrators rally against gun violence at the state capitol for this young man, Trayvon Martin. Good evening, I'm Stephanie Fisher. And I'm Jaquetta Williams. It has been exactly one year since 17-year-old Trayvon Martin was shot to death by a Neighborhood Watch volunteer. And now students and community leaders right here in Georgia are using this anniversary to call for an end to gun violence. CBS Atlanta's Christopher King is live outside the Capitol where the demonstrators are rallying now. Stephanie, they're crowding those steps outside the state capitol here. Take a look over here. You can see they're carrying signs that read, Stop the Gun Violence. They're also holding up signs that uh, honor Trayvon Martin. Now, they're calling for an end to policies they say could lead to tragedies like the one that took Trayvon Martin's life. Florida's Stand Your Ground law is at the center of the Trayvon Martin shooting. Georgia has a similar law. Demonstrators here want to abolish it. It's self-defense is not an option. It is not an option. The Stand Your Ground law provides immunity from prosecution if you kill someone and can prove you were defending yourself. But what if someone's trying to kill you? They just have to kill me, Christopher. But one Second Amendment rights supporter says getting rid of Stand Your Ground would punish people trying to defend themselves. I think that people should have the right to defend themselves. It's our Second Amendment right, and any, any sort of legislation on guns or any sort of gun control, all it's doing is hurting the victims. Now, there are dozens of people out here right now, and they're expecting even more people to come out here and fill these steps. For now, we're live at the state capitol. Christopher King, CBS Atlanta News.